Hey there, everybody. Uh, NJ Fossils here. I'm out here hunting some of New Jersey's Cretaceous Age streams today. Hopefully gonna find some shark's teeth and maybe some even cooler fossils. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's two, actually. Three. There's one here. It's broken. And two, which is a complete one. And three, right here. There we go. Wow, well that's a really nice start. Forgot my backpack today. I left the house without it. So, using this Walmart bag today, which isn't perfect, but it'll hopefully get the job done. All right, here's the first sift of the day. Gonna do a bit of a mix of sifting and, and just surface hunting today. Uh, it'll depend on how we do trying both. We had a lot of rain the other day, and but I know it was really crowded over the weekend, so we'll see how we do. Here's another broken one. Would have been a decent size. This is actually pretty cool. It's a grinding plate from a fish, and you can see the wear facet right here. It's a, a little, you can see where the light's catching it like that. It's worn down where the fish used it to crush like clams and crustaceans and stuff like that. That's a pretty cool find. This is a good sized one too. Ooh, here's a nice one. Let's see if it's whole. A little bit of the roots broken off. It's a nice goblin shark tooth, uh, Scapanorhynchus texanus. These can get up to about two inches long, a little bit longer. Here's a little one. We spotted this nice creta lambda right in the water here. And right here, we've got a really nice ray tooth. Brachyrhizotis. I think I might head upstream a little bit. It's uh, slowed down a lot here. Maybe I'll do one more sift. And then, uh, yeah, then head upstream and uh, try sifting there some more in surface scanning. We got a ton of rain the other night, so I'm really hoping that it uh, loosened a bunch of stuff up. It's pretty cool right here. You can see the imprint of the shell right here. It's from a clam called Liapista. And I'm hoping that it might be complete and the other other uh, valve will be on the other side. I moved upstream a little bit. I'm gonna surface scan the banks for a little while and then maybe I'll start sifting if I'm not finding anything on the surface. I hope the rain's stirred up enough to uh, wash new stuff out. There are a lot of people here this weekend. No way. Really nice Mosasaur tooth. Look at that. Wow, and the enamel's only chipped in a couple places. That's really nice. Awesome. Well, that's that's the trip maker right there so far. Nice fish tooth right here. Pretty good shape. It's probably in CODIS. Ooh, here's a really nice tooth. It's really good shape. Right there. That's a nice Scapanorhynchus, uh, the goblin shark. All right, gonna head a little bit further upstream. Been having a lot of luck so far though, and it's not even uh, noon yet, so hopefully it keeps going this way. Almost the whole root's broken, but it would have been a really good size Squalacorax. Ooh, here's a really nice one. It's Cradle Lambda. It's a really good size too. Too bad. We'll, we'll find a complete one by the end of the trip. Here's another broken Squalacorax, would have been pretty big. All right here's a really nice ray tooth, it looks like. Yeah, the root's still all there. Brachyrhizotis. Here's a nice one. It's a nice Archaeolamna. There, perfect shape. Let's see what else we can find on this bank before I start sifting. Got a decent bit of it left. It's all the way to that little tree poking up at the end there. Another nice crow shark. 
Oh, here's a nice Squalicor X, medium sized one. Here's a nice one. Someone must have missed it. It was right on top of their sifter pile. Here's another one in this sifter pile. Another nice Squalicor X right here. Almost to the end of this bank, we're right at the last little section where that tree was poking out before. And then I might start trying to do some sifting while I'm up here. Here's a nice little ray tooth sitting straight up right on the bank. It's in really nice shape too. It's about as perfect as they get. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Nice large lateral Scopanorhynchus, uh, the goblin shark. That's a really nice one. Here's a nice little Squalicorax. So that's one. You got anything else? Oh, well, here's a, uh, that's too bad, the broken Creta Lamna. Oh, but here's a really nice, looks like a lateral uh, Scopanorhynchus. All right, let's do another sift. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, and another Squalicor X. This one's also pretty nice. Uh, broken one. Right here, missing the tip. That's another sift with three in it. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, here's a, ah, it's a broken Squalicor X. Would have been a decent size. Oh boy. Wow, that's a really nice Creta Lamna. Wow. Nice. So that's that's five teeth in this sift, plus a little chunk of fish bone right here. Probably an Encodus jaw. And here's another one. Oh my goodness. Really nice Archaea Lamna. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fossils. Six of them shark's teeth. Make it seven shark's teeth. A oh, little broken one. It's only a partial, but still. Here's another one. Looks like it's missing the tip. Oh no, it's there. Wow. And another broken. That's insane. Wow, that was a crazy sift. That was ten shark teeth in one sift. Oh, here's one. That's oh, a really nice Archaea Lambda. Broken Archaea Lambda. That's how they usually end up looking. They they lose the cusps in the root. I think I just saw one in here bouncing around. Some more Encodus jaw, it looks like. Oh, here we go. This is the one I saw. Nice Creta Lambda with some pretty cool colors to it, too. That's in really nice shape. Nice little sand tiger. That one's really nice. And here's a broken crow shark. Ah, uh, and this one would have been really big. It's tips broken off. Would have been a nice sized goblin shark. Oh, and here's a, a ray tooth. I almost missed that one. It's really worn down and it's all black, so it just looked like a pebble. Ah, uh, there's a broken root to an Archaeolamna, it's just the cusps. Whoa, and here's a huge Archaeolamna, oh my gosh. Look at that. That thing's huge. I don't know how I saw this busted up little root before I saw that one. They were right next to each other. Wow, that might be the biggest Archaeolamna I've found. Oh, and here's a nice little Scopanorhynchus. Looks like a nice little thresher. Yeah, Paranomotodon angustidens. Wow, that's that's nice. You don't find these a lot. Ooh. Nice critolamna. And right underneath it was this. It's kind of broken, but this little squalicorax. Oh, and a nice little ray tooth. Check that out. That thing's tiny. Wow, that sift was incredible. This looks like a good one already. I already see a nice one here. It's a really nice Scopanorhynchus anterior. 
small squalacorax, nice little squalacorax, and another small nice squalacorax. Whoa, now this is a nice one. The pathological squalacorax, right here, and it's a really nice size. Ooh, there's a nice one. Just rolled right in here. Oh, and another nice one. There's a really nice Archaeolamna. And right next to it, well, not right next to it, but pretty close, is this nice Scopanorhynchus. All right, so this is probably the last bank I'm gonna do any hunting on today. Been out for uh, about six and a half hours now. It's been a really good day so far. I'm really excited to get back and show you guys everything that I found all put together. Um, oh, here's one. Nice little goblin shark lateral. Oh, here's a nice squalacorax. Really good root on it and uh, nice serrations too. Oh, here's the root of one. The root of a goblin shark right here. Let's see. Ooh, that's a nice little guy. It's complete. Ooh, here we go. That's a nice squalacorax. Only have this little section left to go, so maybe maybe there's something else, but this squalacorax is a pretty nice cap on the trip. So I'm walking back to the car uh, now, and I glanced down while I was walking alongside the bank found this huge Squalacorax. It was a pretty nice way to end the day. It's got cool little lightning marks on it too. As I was just about to leave, I saw this tooth, anterior goblin shark tooth. The bag's a lot more full than when we got out there, so that's always a good sign. Um, I'll get all this back to the house, and then I'll show you guys everything I found all at once so we could look at it all spread out. So I'll see you guys back there. So here's that nice mosasaur tooth all cleaned up. I really love the way the sun's hitting the enamel right there. It looks really nice. So right here we have all the best squalacorax that I found today. And uh, next up we have all the best archaeolamna that I found today. We had some really good finds. Next up we have all the best scopanorhynchus teeth that we found today. Uh, followed by all the best Cretolamna teeth that we found. Uh, this next photo is of all the different stingray material that we found today. And you can see that dermal denticle down on the bottom left. That's one of my favorites. And then these are just some uh, ratfish fragments. Next up are all the chunks of bone I found today. First up are some pieces of reptile bone, followed by the fish chunks that I found today, likely from Encodus. Lastly, here are all the finds spread out together. I found a lot of good stuff today. Thanks for following along, and I hope to see you next time.